Hey folks, Quill18 here and welcome to Let's Play Victoria 2 as Japan. Yes, the very long awaited next chapter in our Paradox series. I'm incredibly excited to be playing this game, I can't even tell you. If you haven't watched the intro video that gives you some background about uh, what our goals are and how we're going to play things, please go and do that. Um, note, I haven't played the game in this patch yet, so I'm sure there's going to be a few things that catch me off guard. Also, I'm not an expert at this game in any way whatsoever, so, you know, please don't freak out too, too much. Um, one of the first things right away is the, uh, the armies. I'm quite surprised that they've given me such a large stack all put together. Already we're getting some attrition because we are way over our supply limit in this province, and these are our fairly developed, friendly provinces, so we're going to have to do something about that. Um, we are probably going to move these guys as well. We are going to move them to, uh, uh, you know what, Nagasaki, that'll be fine. We're going to be fine with the supply limit. Uh, this army here, we're going to divide into two. Balance like that, and we'll take 130 armory, move it to Matsu. And the other one, we are going to move to Yamaguchi, I think. And that should be a fine start. We're also going to move our ships to Matsu, like so. Um, now, the first thing we have to do is make sure that our economy is running okay before we unpause the game. Actually, the very first thing we have to do is go into politics, check our decisions, and kickstart the Meiji Restoration. We are starting the game in 1861. That ensures that we are sphered by the United States, which means that we can do the proper Meiji Restoration as opposed to an early Meiji Restoration. This will give you a whole bunch of research points and prestige, which doesn't hurt, a big research modifier, and kickstarts our progress down the right to Western, or down the road to westernizing. So we're going to grab that. Japan is traditionally considered to have been funded, founded, by Emperor uh, Jimmy in 1660 BC, while the imperial lineage was still considered unbroken since then, the imperial office had, through the Edo period, been reduced to a revered but respected, revered and respected, but ultimately politically powerless institution. By embracing a restoration of imperial rule along with a program of swift industrial modernization, constitution, I can't talk today, constitutionalism and economic freedom. Although, in my defense, that's probably the first time I've ever said the word constitutionalism constitutionalism out loud. How often do you use that word in everyday conversation? Anyway, uh, Japan might be able to break the fetters placed upon her by the impositions of the Western world. And indeed, that is our goal. We are going to westernize, but with the goal to become completely independent of all these Western nations and really chart our own course through history. So we're going to do that. And um, reforms. We will probably take the, uh, the land reform right away. The reason is our economy is not going to be fantastic at first, and doing this gives us an extra 25% farming and mining efficiency, which is huge, and the extra 10% progress towards westernization will only need another 10% from somewhere. Uh, this will really do a huge number on our um, on our farming or on our economy, just tremendous. So we definitely want to grab that land reforms. Our militancy's gone up a little. We're going to take uh, keep an eye on that, but I don't think we're going to get a rebellion. Um, no movements or anything yet, but we'll keep an eye on it once uh, once we get time started. So, speaking of our economy, here's our budget. So right now, because of our politics, we actually, our minimum tax is 50%, but we are kind of a, a very nationalized kind of government, so we are going to be spending that money kind of more or less directly, as opposed to later when we go to more kind of a liberal government, or um, uh, or more capitalist government, then the, the taxes kind of be kind of capped the other way, and we're going to have much lower taxes, but we're going to have people like capitalists that are going to be spending more of our things a little bit more directly. Uh, we'll, we'll probably have to unpause things before we can really get a sense of, um, of where we can put the taxes. That being said, it's going to be pretty important to keep our education up. I'm going to put it to just 70% for now. We'll see that. I'm going to also put up the administration a little. This costs us some money, but it's going to improve our tax efficiency going forward. Um, the rest we'll probably leave where it is. We'll probably throw in some tariffs. It is going to hurt our artisans, but not necessarily that much. We're going to go for a 10% tariff. Although th none of this will really show itself until we get time started, and then we'll take a look at what's going on. We currently projecting a deficit, but we'll see what happens. Uh, we do need to set a national focus, which we don't have. I'm going to do that in Osaka. So we have numerous... Um, these are called provinces? 
can't remember how they how they named the various things. Um, I think this is the state of Edo and the province of Chiba is the, the terms that they use in this game. None of these things are like appropriate for the area. For example, um, over here in Canada, right? In actual Canada, you have the province of Ontario, and then you have your different little city-states. Or your, not your city-states, your regions. At Sudbury being a city, this is actually where I'm from. I'm from right around here, which is actually where the city of Sudbury is, somewhere around there. Um, so here, it's like the province of Sudbury in the state of Ontario. Yeah, that's what it is. And uh, similarly here in the states, in the United States, it actually makes sense to a certain extent. So we've got... No, it... Uh, it doesn't because it's the province of Williamsport in the state of Pennsylvania. I think that's the way it is, so it's kind of weird. But yeah. anyway, uh, so I might get the terminology a little. I can't remember. If Osaka is the province, I think I have it right. Anyway, moving on. It's not important. Um, yeah, the province is the smallest unit of division. Let's uh, let's unpause time. We'll just go to a, sort of a slow speed just to see what happens when we spend a day or two going forward. Uh, technology, we can't do any technology research right now because we are not westernized, but we have a few techs just from our westernization. Oh, we really have to take a look at our um, diplomacy here because first thing we need to do, mm, not sure about the order we want to do things in, we're going to have to justify a war with the Chinese because I really want to take Korea. That's really important to me. Uh, I want to claim this. Let me turn on the uh, political map mode so we can clearly see where the various countries are. I want to claim Korea at some point. And right now they are a substate or they're a puppet of the Chinese Empire. So we are going to have to justify a war against the Chinese to break off Korea. Um, and we are going to need some ships for that because we will have to land an assault team. I actually don't know if we strictly need to land it, um, but that's what we're going to try to do. And so let's speed up time. So money, yeah, we're definitely losing way too much money. So we're going to have to make some adjustments still. And most of we're going to do that by taxing the hell out of our populace. Because screw them. Um, we can go into debt a little bit. I'm going to try to avoid doing it too much. <sighs> do we have to cut back on our education right now? We may have to. Education is pretty important. But let's pull back. We are probably going to be stuck going into debt for a little bit. Uh, and it's going to get worse when we get to war. Oh, maybe actually we don't have the... Now we've got some loans, alright. So we've come closer to balancing things out a little bit. Um, hopefully. But we also need some ships. Uh, what I want to do is I want to send over... Oh, they're still walking in sync, which is kind of a huge pain in the ass. Listen, guys, can you can you break sync for a little while, please? Uh, so ridiculous. I'm moving them. There we go. I'm still getting some attrition there. All right, they should be. Oh, who's going where? You go there. All right. No more, no more attrition. Good, 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 good. And we're making a little bit of money. Um, we should hopefully get an event soon, which will find gold in one of our provinces, I'm hoping. All right. This is stabilized. So I'm going to start building ships because we're going to need a navy of at least seven or seven more ships. So we have a navy of ten, which is going to be enough to transport our 30 military units over. So... There we go, seven ships. And we are going to set a rally in Matsu here, which is going to be our ship rally point. And they'll form a navy once they get there. So let's take a look. Any progress being made here? A little bit. Gilbert, this is really not the time for you to start freaking out, buddy. My cat is destroying the room around me. Well, it's, you know, 11 o'clock at night. That's exactly when cats wake up, isn't it? Okay, we are actually turning a little bit of a profit. Good. I'm going to turn the education up a little bit. I don't want to overdo it because actually we're going to be spending some money once we go to war. 
Hopefully the manpower on these guys refresh themselves fairly quickly. We need to rebuild those units. They're mostly okay. We should have a spare pool of military. Yeah, we're, we should be fine. I'm not too concerned. I could probably speed things up. Is there anything we need to do diplomatically? Not really at this point. Um, I'm not sure who we need to make sure to keep friends with. Probably the United Kingdom is actually going to be the most important people to stay friendly because we may run into some conflicting interests down here and it would be nice if they're dissuaded from going to war with us. I'm not sure if that's a thing, but I feel like that's something I would like to try. Wow, the US is currently the greatest power? Huh. So let's increase relations. Doesn't cost us anything except diplomacy points. Ah, finally! Kobe! They found gold. Now this is an event that happens no matter what. So, uh, Kobe is right over here. And so I don't know what resource it started with. It was probably like tea or something like that. Like if we check our RGO output, that's our um, our resource gathering operations. Oh yeah, now we're making tons of bank. We've got some wheat, we've got some tobacco, a little bit of coal, some tea and so on and so forth. But now we've got gold here and Give me a sec, I've got to take care of my cat. This is so embarrassing, I'll be right back. Gilbert, get out of the room. Hey, hey, hey. Up, up. Wow, that's what I get for making videos so late at night. Sorry guys, all right. So, uh, yeah, so anyway, we're making tons of bank now that we've got gold hugely more profit and we could probably reduce some taxes I guess I'll do that to be nice and bring up the education again I'd like to sit this at 70 for now later on we'll want it much more but that'll be good oh and I never said brr, I got talking about a billion things in Osaka we want to promote clergymen because our education potential is greatly based on the amount of clergy we have and we want 2% of our population as many places as possible to be clergymen. So we're at 1.75 in our in that capital province. It's our most popul populous province. Once it hits about 2%, we'll move the focus somewhere else. Ship-wise, we are almost there. Good. It is definitely time to start justifying war against the Chinese. I don't have enough diplomacy point because I spent it on increased relations. All right, I guess we'll just wait a little bit. Speed things up. Yeah, we're going to have a big pool of money, but it's going to crash a little bit when we go to war because we're going to be spending a lot more money supporting our military, but it's not going to be the end of the world. Yeah, this is the timing's a little bit bad for this. China, justify war. We want to, to release a puppet. And so the way infamy works in this game as opposed to, let's pause, other uh, Europa, like Europa Universalis, other, um, other Paradox titles, is the infamy comes from your building up the justification for the war more than uh, than actually within war. You don't really get it during the war itself the same way. Um, but Release Puppet is considered to be pretty good, so uh, it doesn't cost us much infamy to pull that off. We also don't need a very big war score to pull it off. We do have to wait 100 days for it to process, but we should be okay. Now, do we want to build a little bit more military? I feel like maybe we do. And I'd like to set the rally point way over here. All right, so our justification has been spotted, but that's not too bad. So we are going to build a little bit of an army, just with a few pieces of infantry. There we go. I think that'll be enough. Again, things have changed in this patch considerably. Um, so I'm crossing my fingers that the, literally, that the uh, Chinese are not much scarier than they were. They're always going to be a little bit dangerous, but hopefully not too bad. So. Our justification is up here. It's getting there. Who else is trying to justify a war? Other people. All right, I missed it. Doesn't matter. Mm, politically, oh yeah, I should probably take a look at that. Right now, we still have a shogunate, shogunate faction running things, um, which is just it's reactionary. We probably want to move them to something else. I'm not sure. I don't think I want to go liberal yet. I may want to change to a court faction. So right now we're at planned economy. We could go state capitalism. Well, 
or those, they're not really terribly different at this point. I guess I'll leave it as is. We are very close to westernizing, though. Need a few more days. 43 more days. All right, let's speed things up. Lots of money in the bank. And we're not, we're not making tons and tons of money over our daily budget. So it's slowly going up, but it's not like it's inappropriately so. All right, we've paused. We are going to take our army and we will... The way these weights get calculated changed? Get onto the ship. They can't all get onto the ship. All right, that's fine. They're gonna come into the sea. There we are. So we've got our Casas Belly. Now we're gonna go back over here and, oh, we can't justify the war. We can't declare war yet. We need a full point. Hopefully we are not being attrition too, too much here. Should have never used any of my diplomacy. This is actually slowing me down to a certain extent. Not terrifyingly so, but annoyingly so. Come on, turn over. Give me the one. Speed up. Oi! How long does it take to get... There we go. Declare war. We didn't want it to run out there. You will release Korea. That is our demand. She's protected by eight nations. They're all sub-states. It's not the end of the world. We only need five war score, which is not very much. We will get attacked. We're going to have to make sure not to lose too much, but we should be okay. We're just going to... Uh, There we go, land some troops. And you guys head over here. And unpause, but slow down. Okay. Overall, we should be mostly okay. I'm gonna set a new rally point over in Edo. And undo the old one. I think the troops that are going there will continue to go there. I'm hoping. No, they just stop. That's weird. All right. Well, get over there. All right, so the ships, the Chinese are going to probably land some troops, but we should be okay. I'm going to retreat with my ships because they're just transports. Oh, that's the difference. It started off with three commerce raiders. It didn't start us off with any transports. Still, that should be okay. Um, we're going to keep the army together. We're going to get attrition a little bit, but it should help to take over this province and because we really don't need much of a war score to win. All right, we are currently at minus one. Oh, because of the blockades. The tea harvest is unusually large this year, and nowhere is it larger than Kyoto. Everywhere one ventures in the area, sacks and sacks again stand lined up, brimming with freshly picked leaves of wonderfully smelling tea. Harvest will probably set us straight for years if we're capable of leveraging right. Should we let farmers keep an extra portion of the harvest, let our merchants sell it for profit, or should we stockpile it for later use? Stockpile tea, which I guess we'd sell internationally. Um, I don't think we don't have much of a problem with militancy uh, or consciousness anywhere, so I'm not worried about doing this. I don't think we have got a lot of capitalists either, so I don't think we're gonna need a lot of money. I'm just gonna stockpile it and we can sell it on the international market or, or some silly thing. You guys combine. Just blockaded. Okay. 